guys, what's up? It's us, Palomorn here today. And today, I wanted to talk about a small little computer that most of my fans, I don't think, know about it. Now, I could be way wrong, so I want you guys to tell me if you've ever heard of it, or if this is your first time ever hearing it. So, this computer is only going to cost you about less than $100, and more than 30 bucks if you get it nice. So, all you want to look up is the Raspberry Pi. So, that is R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y space P-I. And just hit search. Right now, I'm on Newegg.com. Um, you can also, uh, the link will be in the description for Newegg. Uh, also, you can go to Amazon. So, um, here's a computer, guys, right here. So, this is the Raspberry Pi Model B. Now, why it's Model B is Model A only has one USB port and is a little bit slower. So, Model B is the newer version that's a little bit faster. Um, here's the model number. Uh, 700 megahertz. So, most computers are measured in gigahertz. So, if we measured this in gigahertz, it would be 0.7 gigahertz, which is more than most... Uh, well, more than mostly every computer. The computer you're probably watching this on, if you're watching it on a computer, um, probably has more than one gigahertz. Uh, this is the type of motherboard. And it's CPU and VGA combo. So, if you look on the actual, um, uh, Raspberry Pi. It's got two USB ports right here. Uh, Ethernet. So you can plug in wired internet. But you can also get a little USB card that will plug into one of these USBs. So I went and bought one of these guys. And I'm going to keep explaining, but in a minute. I went and bought one of these guys. Uh, I already have a keyboard and a mouse. Obviously, it's how I'm using my computer now. And uh, all I bought with my Raspberry Pi was a case because this does not come with the case. I bought a case, a wireless Wi Fi adapter, and I also bought an SD card, which I'll explain to you in a minute. So here is for your uh, audio. I know it's supposed to be green, but for some reason it's blue. Uh, the yellow one next to it is for analog video. Which means, if you've ever had to use AV cables, which is red, white, and yellow. Red and white are both for audio. Yellow is for video. So, if I just used um, an analog video cable and uh, plugged it into my older TV, it would work perfectly. Um, I'm not going to go into all the specs about the Raspberry Pi, but just most, most of the stuff. Um... They're not going to give me a good view of this, but right here, right here, opposite of the yellow analog, is an HDMI port. And also, right here, you'll notice uh, a micro USB port. Um, oh, that's something else I also bought with my Raspberry Pi, was just a power supply, which you don't necessarily need. It'll use, like, a charger for, like, a Kindle Fire a probably the the new e HTC one Evo uh, it won't use iPhone chargers any iPhone charger it's not going to use those so any if you have Android phones if you have any of the ones I listed uh, also probably the um, 3D Evo then it's you're probably going to be able to have the charger but then you're going to have to share chargers and you won't be able to charge your phone and run the computer at the same time because the only way to turn this computer on is to have it charging and it's got no battery so it won't hold a charge so it has to be plugged in when you're using it so as you can see right here it says uh not i don't want to highlight that off it's got 512 megabytes of ram uh most computers have at least a gigabyte now which would be more than a megabyte um 
And uh, for the operating system on this computer, it uses Linux, which most people don't know how to use. But hey, 40 bucks, I think it's worth maybe just picking up. This guy can run Minecraft. It's harder to use because it's a little bit harder to use, in my opinion, than Windows. So it's a little bit harder to get Minecraft. Um, so you can get this guy off Newegg for $49. Uh, I believe at Amazon you can get it for $42. So go check out Amazon too. Um, you'll notice some of the dimensions. So the only thing that makes it 3.4 inches tall is the USB port and the Ethernet port. Um, it's 2.2. So I don't know if you own one or your mom has one or your dad has one. But it's like the size of a credit card. That's what how big this guy is. Well, small, I should say. So yeah, it's got the one HDMI port. Um, yeah, this guy is pretty crazy cheap. It's rated five stars. The only other thing you would need with this one, absolutely need, is an SD card. You need an SD card, which you can pick up at Newegg for eight ninety nine right here. Um. Uh, now, some other things that you might want, if you don't have them already, uh, would definitely be the Raspberry Pi, the SD card. You might have an empty SD card. I think it has to be empty, but I could be wrong. I think it'd be better if it was empty, too. Um, another thing you're going to want is a power charger. Not a charger, just a power supply for this computer. Um, you're also probably going to want a case. Now, it's not necessary to have a case. Also, I am going to do a review on my Raspberry Pi when it does come in the mail. Because I ordered mine off Amazon for like 50-ish dollars. No, the actual Raspberry Pi was $32. But then I got a case and a charger and an SD card. So, I got it for a good deal. You'll probably be able to pick it up for about $70. Um, and then all you have to do is look up on YouTube. Uh, there's a very wide community for this. So, all you got to do right now, or you can wait till the end of this video or wait till you get it, is you can look up uh, how to set up your Raspberry Pi for the first time. And they'll teach you how to get the software onto your Raspberry Pi. And it's really not that bad of a computer. So I recommend you guys give it a try. I mean, you can always sell it to your friends and they'll be like, whoa, this is a deal, because they don't you know, know how much you paid for it. So you can be like, hey, you can have this for 50 bucks. And, yeah, they won't realize that you only paid, like, 49 or 42 And if you can find them on sale, buy them. Buy them. I mean, absolutely buy them. Because you can put them on eBay for 50 bucks, and people will probably buy them. So, uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys, which you guys should probably go do, is you should check out my channel. I know I don't advertise myself enough. But, yeah, uh, we have 53 subscribers. Oh my gosh, guys, we hit 6,000 views. Wow, thank you guys so much. That was completely unplanned. I'm, I'm not joking, completely unplanned. So go check out, I have some Black Ops videos, some Modern Warfare 3 videos, uh, some subscriber wall videos, and some other stuff. So, some other stuff you guys might be interested in is how to keep your mind... How to keep your items on death in Minecraft. No mods needed. Uh, Pile of Bodies map review. Survival map review. Uh, I've done a few animations. Yeah, not the best. I'll say it. They're not the best. Um, but yeah, this is just my channel. And it was completely unplanned that we reached 6,000 views. Thank you guys so much for 6,000 views. And I know I didn't do anything huge for 50 subscribers, but for 100 subscribers, 100 subscribers, not scribers, what? I don't know. I'm giving a Minecraft account away for free, so make sure you're subscribed to me to enter that. Uh, but obviously, it's not going to start, and I'm not going to mention it, probably till we're a lot closer, maybe past 75, so, or maybe even at 99. So yeah. Uh, 
you can also go to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can also go to my friend's channel, which it will take you to slash master 96's channel. Um, yeah, try to keep up with him. Uh, I actually haven't seen that video. Probably go watch it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Espanol, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.